please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Dear God, our lives, families, and friends mean so much to us. Help us to be grateful to you for our gifted teachers who have molded us into the leaders of tomorrow and have opened the book of knowledge to us. Bless us. Follow us down the path of life and pick us up when we fall. Amen. Everyone be seated now. <laughs> On behalf of myself, the senior sponsor, and Mr. Brannigan, co-sponsor, we'd like to welcome everybody to the commencement exercises of the class of 1990. To begin things this evening, I'd like to introduce to you the principal of East Central High School, Mr. Jim Helms. Good evening, everyone. It is a pleasure to have you here on behalf of East Central and the seniors of night class of 1990. I sincerely do welcome you here to East Central High School. To you seniors, the members of this class of 1990, this is your evening, and we are here to honor you. As we proceed with tonight's ceremony, I would like to now make some introductions of the podium. First, I would like to introduce the members of the Sunman Dearborn Community School Board of Education. As I call your name, would you please stand and remain standing until all board members have been introduced. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Mr. George Ammerman, a member. Mr. Leroy Fox, member. Mr. Russell Fox, secretary. Mr. Donald Gellert, a member. Mr. Raymond Harmeyer, a member. Mr. Rodney Ziegler, vice president. And Mr. Harold Zimmerman, president. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sunman Dearborn Board of Education. <laughs> gentlemen, you may be seated. Other people seated at the podium this evening, I would like these people to stand. Please hold your applause until I have introduced them all. Mr. John Armbruster, superintendent. Mr. Irvin Fox, assistant superintendent. Mr. Jerry McKinney, business manager. Mr. Clifford Giltner, assistant principal. Mrs. Margaret Stewart, director of pupil personnel. And Mr. Kenneth Wilson, who is the athletic director and has worked with me. He is a senior sponsor and has worked with me many years on commencement. Ladies and gentlemen, please give these people a hand. At this time, I would like to collectively recognize a very fine and important group of people, the East Central High School faculty members and also any staff members who may be attending this evening from our other schools in the Sunman Dearborn Corporation who several years ago probably taught some of these students. Most of them, I think, who are here tonight are seated back in their little reserve corner for staff, but would faculty members please stand? Let's give them a round of applause. I'm especially proud of our faculty here at East Central. And one other special group of people I would like to direct your attention to, seated to the left of the podium, the parents of tonight's seniors. They're all right over here in this section. I 
I extend appreciation to the ushers, the arch holders, the commencement band, Mr. Bentle, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Brannigan, Mr. Planup, and all of the faculty and all the people it takes to put a program like this together. We do appreciate your help. Again, I sincerely welcome each and every one of you here to East Central High School tonight to witness a very important ceremony in the lives of a fine group of seniors, the class of 1990. Each year we recognize those students who have attained honor graduate status. Honor graduates have earned this category through academic excellence throughout their four years in high school. Those, gra those graduates who complete the entire four year course of stat studies with a 3.8 or higher grade average are designated as honor graduates. The class of 1990 has 14 members who have attained this excellent academic achievement. They are wearing a gold cord at this time we would like to recognize those 14 graduates individually. When your name is called, please stand to be recognized and then be seated. With a 3.80, Emily Kling. With a 3.80, Joyce Huber. With a 3.91, Randy Hounds. With a 3.92, Beth Goodapple. With a 3.92, Rod Hilbert. With a 3.96, Lisa Krause. With a 3.97, Paula Gensheimer. With a 3.98, Rachel Krause. With a 3.98, Eric Ewing. With a perfect 4.0, Lori Waller. And another perfect 4.0, Jay Mormon. And still another perfect 4.0, Julie Kist. And another 4.0, Jason Kinker. And another 4.0, Steve Craig. At this time, we would like all 14 honor graduates to stand and let's give them all a big round of applause. You may be seated. The state of Indiana has a program which permits a high school that meets the necessary curriculum and program standards to issue an academic honors diploma. In order to earn the state academic honors diploma, a student must have an accumulative grade point average of a 3.0 or better with no grade lower than a C. They must have earned 47 credits, of which eight must be college prep English, eight credits of math, algebra, and above, six credits of science, biology, and above, six credits of social studies, six or eight credits of foreign language, and two credits of fine arts. This evening, those students are wearing a white cord. We have 24 students who will be receiving the Indiana Academic Honors Diploma. Will the following students who have earned this honors diploma please stand as I call your name to be recognized. Remain standing until all 24 have been named. Audience, please hold your applause until they are all standing. In alphabetical order, John Braun, 
Carla Cheek, Heather Clemens, Chris Courtney, Erica Dodd, Doug Ferry, Brenda Fox, Paula Gensheimer, Beth Goodapple, Kim Helfer, Joyce Huber, Stephanie Johnson, Jason Kinker, Julie Kist, Lisa Kraus, Rachel Kraus, Tracy Maynard, Melody Robinson, Mike Saylor, Mark Snyder, Michelle Tackett, Lori Waller, Eric Ward, and Heather Wyatt. Can we please give them a round of applause? You may be seated. It's my pleasure now to introduce the senior class president, Christine Hensley. While she's making her way up here, let me tell you a little bit about her. Not only is she president of the senior class, she was also president of the junior class, president of the sophomore class, and president of the freshman class. She has been in show choir for four years and was assistant captain of show choir this year. She was a member of the Spanish Club for four years and was secretary of it her junior year. She was on both the advisory committee and the prom advisory committee and also has been in social studies club. I think you can tell she's been a, qu a quite busy young lady. This fall, Christine intends to attend Ball State University. So now it's my pleasure to introduce an exceptional young lady, Christine. <clears throat> Distinguished members of the Board of Education, Mr. John Armbruster, Mr. James Helms, fellow classmates, family, and friends. This night will be the night of all nights, the moment that we, the class of 1990, have long anticipated. It seems as only yesterday that we were minors transforming into young, responsible adults. Since the starting point, when we met as strangers, we will soon leave as friends. We continually hope to meet one another again so our friendships may never end. In 1989, the theme of our junior prom stated, may God help you keep the courage of the quest and hope the road's last turn on our journey of a thousand miles will be the best. And when the night is ended, only a memory will last of the glorious evening that has passed. Now the time has come to fulfill these visions that we have so long endured for 13 consecutive years. Tonight we feel the energetic music and the spirits rise of our last meeting with friends we have so long endured. The merry voices and the spirits light overflow the sorrow with fun tonight. As we look back onto the glorious past, we think of the educators, the special instructors who have shared their lives, hoping that we will continue to strive and meet every obstacle that is driven into our path. In my junior year, I began to realize how dedicated and determined the faculty and staff here at East Central have been these past six years. I had a considerable amount of money that was taken from my possession. That day, a collection was taken and my money replaced. This is just one of the examples that the students here at East Central periodically do not recognize. In various schools, incidents and mistakes such as this would be forgotten and pushed aside. An English teacher once noted from a poem to a skylark, teach me half the gladness that thy brain must know, such harmonious madness from my lips would flow. The world should listen then, as I am listening now. The poet Shelley was describing how nature is of dire importance and how everything that exists in society has a certain amount of potential within. This 
quote is what our educators so often encourage us to pursue. We must not always value ourselves, but the precious things in life too. Through the achievements of our athletic, choral, and drama departments, we have celebrated a victory in the play, singing, girls and boys basketball, wrestling, and a trip to try for the semi-state in which football would bring. We view the struggle of East, German and East Germany and how their visions of freedom came reality as the Berlin, Berlin Wall crumbled to the ground. The baffling questions and fears still face, still haunt our hearts because of deaths of many classmates. Throughout these past years at East Central, we have conquered personal conflicts. And from these battles emerged a stronger individual. When the goodbyes begin, our tears of sadness will appear. But as we unite together, our tears of sadness will replace with tears of joy. Together, we have begun the journey of a thousand miles, stepping hand in hand. But alone, we will continue to strive for our dreams and goals will develop into reality, the future. I have discovered numerous differences in the class of 1990, but one quote by a great literary critic, Tennyson, has described the class of 1990 like no other. We may be weak by time and fate, but strong in the will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. He believed, like I do, that we are a class of strong will, and this will shall never be broken. At times, we have broken, but we have learned to step forward and unite like one, as we have tonight. Just remember, there is a God and a journey, but together it is possible. We would like to thank all of you, and especially our families, for being the wind beneath our wings. You have given us the ability to fly with grace, and now we ask of you to let us soar with this same grace into the future. I love all of you guys. Thank you very much. Members of the class of 1990, please stand. Mr. Armbruster, Superintendent of Schools, members of the board, faculty, parents, and witnesses, I officially present to you at this time the class of 1990. By the power invested in me as a secondary school principal by the Indiana State Department of Public Instruction, I hereby certify to the superintendent, board of education, and witnesses present that each member of the class before you now has met all graduation requirements as prescribed by the Indiana State Department of Public Instruction and this school corporation. The seniors are now eligible to receive their diplomas. Seniors, you may be seated. As the seniors receive their diplomas, we would like to emphasize that we view commencement as a program which is a serious ceremony. And we therefore, in behalf of the class and each individual in the class, request everyone's cooperation by not displaying undue clapping and comments and so forth for each individual student as they receive their diplomas, but rather we will all give them a well-deserved applause when the diplomas have all been presented. Thank you. Row one, please rise. Kathy Amos. Kevin Armbruster.
Steve Bailey. Thomas Bain. Kenneth Baker. Richard Bartlett. Randy Barton. Stephanie Beck. John Becker. Heather Beterhake. Melissa Bentley. Ryan Bergman. Laura Berry. Jennifer Billman. Vicki Bischoff. Don Bishop. Joe Bohr. Chris Bortline. Troy Bowling. Jason Boyd. Robert Boyd. John Braun. William Braun. Robert Brown. Karina Brummett. Nicole Bjolak. Row one may be seated. Row two, please rise. Jeannie Calhoun. James Callahan. Carla Cheek. Gina Clary. Heather Clemens. Kim Coomer. Angela Corson. Chris Courtney. Stephen Craig. Holly Crocker. Marion Crow. Douglas Dick.
Melissa Dickerson. Chad Disler. Erica Dodd. Leroy Doe. Anthony Dudley. Keith Dubler. Mark Dwinger. Amy Eckstein. Andrew Eckstein. Eric Ellis. Tina Ellis. Jason Erno. Eric Ewing. Row two may be seated. Row three, please rise. Douglas Ferry. Russell Fazette. Don Flannery. Carrie Fletcher. Beth Fox. Brenda Fox. Chris Fox. Jennifer Frenzenmar. Joe Frenzenmar. Beverly Fry. Michelle Fuchs. Krista Gillard. Paula Gensheimer. Kimberly Getz. Ryan Getz. Nikki Ginling. Vicki Green. Joseph Grills. Lisa Grody. William Grubbs. Beth Goodapple. Gail Hall. Wendell Hansel. Doug Hartman. Manuel Hartman.
Row three may be seated. Row four, please rise. Patrick Hines. Kim Helper. Christine Hensley. Robert Hilbert. Scott Hiltars. David Huff. Kevin Holmeister. Amy Holtzbacher. Bonnie Hogue. John Horner. Steve Hotel. Randall Hounce. Brian Huber. Joyce Huber. Jeffrey Humble. Scott James. Tammy Jester. Stephanie Johnson. Karen Johnston. Mike Keith. Tamara Keller. Jean Curley. Paul Ketchum. Jason Kinker. Jennifer Kirk. Jeff Kissel. Rule four may be seated. Rule five, please rise. Julie Kist. Emily Kling. Angela Kramer. Lisa Corrales. Rachel Krause. William Kurtz. Heather Land. Brandon Lurk. Greg Lobenstein. Amy Long. Chris Lutz. Albert Lowe. Chris Lucier. Linda Maloney. 
Chris Martin. Mary Martini. Terry Maynard. Tracy Maynard. Lisa McMichaels. Elizabeth McAllister. Jason Macbeth. Brian Messer. Chris Miller. Jay Mormon. William Mars. Penny Nelson. Row five may be seated. Row six, please rise. Brenda Nice. Richard No. Barry Osterman. David Pauls. Michael Pies. Melissa Price. Wade Rout. Melissa Reiners. Steve Ritchie. Darren Richter. Andrea Robertson. Melody Robinson. Annie Rapus. Julie Rapus. Andrew Rosemar. Joe Rothwaller. Jenny Rush. Dusty Russell. Teresa Salatin. Anthony Sams. Michael Saylor. Cindy Schantz. Mark Snyder. Melissa Scholey. Row six may be seated.
Row seven, please rise. Nikki Swab. <laughs> Diana Swayback. Tom Swikert. Christine Swang. Cynthia Scott. Jeremy Scudder. Andrea Sievers. David Shoemate. Todd Smith. Chad Snyder. Shannon Sartwell. Ryan Spanigal. Chad Stat. Amy Stacy. Don Stout. Janet Steinford. Devonna Steinman Steele. Michael Stinger. Don Stevens. William Stewart. Angie Stone. Kelly Stone. Michael Stribble. Michelle Tackett. Dana Feynman. Michael Trable. Row seven may be seated. Row eight, please rise. James Trailer. Anthony Troxel. Samantha Ville. Robert Viner. Kelly Walker. Leanne Walker. Lori Waller. Eric Ward. Lori Weber. John Weisenbach. Pat Wellishofer.
Thomas Winnick. Greg E. Werner. Greg J. Werner. Timothy Werner. Ronnie Whitaker. Sheila White. Brian Wilhelm. Robert Wilkins. Julie Willig. Kenneth Worsh. Robert Workman. Heather Wyatt. Congratulations, class of 1990. All right. Be seated. Everybody in the banner ceremony, please come forward. There's a part of me that wants to stay with 
It has been a tradition here at East Central that the closing ceremony for each graduating class is the lowering of their banner and the beginning of the next class by the raising of theirs. Now everybody knows we have reached that part, and I would just like to take a few moments here to again congratulate this class, to ask you to remember both good times and bad, learn from these experiences, appreciate life, and may only the best come to each and every one of you. At this time, I'm going to give your banner to Mr. Helms, and this will be, again, the last official act of the class of 1990. And this banner will be placed with the other banners of the classes which have preceded you. And we will all remember you with great fondness. Thank you for your years here at East Central. I, too, sincerely congratulate you. This time I would ask that the graduates stand. It is my pleasure to present the graduates of the East Central Class of 1990 to your relatives and friends. And now I would like to present the graduates to the most important group here tonight, your parents, right over here. Thank you. Please be seated. We could have your attention for a few moments, please. We will uh, conclude our program this evening with just a wee bit of information about this class. A couple of comments directed at them. A benediction, a recessional, and immediately following after the recessional, there will be congratulations available from family and friends in the cafeteria area. I think that one of the things an audience always wonders about is what are these graduates going to do? And naturally, we can't take the time to cover everyone's specific plans, but we thought we should give you just a few of their intentions statistically. Going on to further schooling of some kind, four-year, two-year programs, 68% of this class. There's a little bit over 10% of this class going to enter the military service, and the remaining 22% intends to enter the job market. In addition to the uh, recipients of the Indiana Honors Diploma and the honor graduates that were introduced earlier, there are also seated in this class 23 graduates here tonight who were also inducted as lifetime members of the National Honor Society by accumulating a 3.5 grade average or higher over the four years, and they are designated by wearing the white hoods tonight. I would ask the National Honor Society people to stand. <laughs> Thank you. I also want to mention a rather special uh, appointment, I guess, that came along to this class also. There's been so many accomplishments, but this is one that's very special and we've always recognized over the years. And uh, one of our congressmen has given an appointment. Uh, this young man earned an appointment and will attend the United States, United States Air Force Academy, Mr. Chris Lucier. I'd like to recognize that. Actually, everyone, some tremendous awards and scholarships have been previously uh, awarded to this class at our May 16th Academic Awards Program. Tonight's graduates reaped about 225 of 750 awards presented that evening. 
and college scholarships received by this class are very numerous and amounts to many, many dollars. I'd like to have a few of them. Another interesting thing for you graduates to think about, you just finished uh, 12 years of school, and that totals out to just about 2,160 days in school. That's what kind of what you've been through. Your class motto starts out with a journey, the word journey, and the word journey kind of made me think Many times when people embark on a journey, someone will say, Godspeed. And it reminded me of something, a little story with that. There were three nuns in Louisville, Kentucky, and they wanted to do something for humanity by giving some money as a donation. They each had a $100 bill. One of them said, I'm going to take my $100 bill, and I'm going to give it to the Red Cross. The second one said, I'm going to take my $100 bill, and I'm going to give it to the Heart Fund. The third one said, I'm not going to do that. She took her $100 bill, put it in an envelope, sealed it up. She said, I'm not going to give it to a group or organization this time. I'm going to go down on the streets of Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm going to stand there, and I'm going to wait till I see some person that looks like a needy person to me, and I'm going to give them that $100 bill. So she did that. She waited on the street, and people went by, and here came a little guy kind of bent over, a little cap on, had a pencil stuck in his ear, cigarette hanging out of his mouth, hadn't shaved for a few days, looked kind of rough. She said, that's my man right there. She walked up. She said, sir. She handed him an envelope. He was kind of startled. She said, Godspeed, and she left. About a week later, there was a knock at the door where the three nuns lived. And this little guy with the cap and the pencil in the air and the cigarette hanging knocked on the door. And he said, there was a lady that gave me this $100 bill last week. And she said, I want to see her. And they said, well, we know. He didn't know her name. And they said, he described her. He said she kind of had red hair and so forth. And they said, oh, yes, she lives here, but she's not here right now. And he said, well, I don't have the time to wait. But when she comes back, would you give her this envelope, please? They said, yes, we will. About an hour later, the lady returned, and they said, some little guy left this envelope for you. And she took it, and she opened it up. And inside of the envelope were 10 crisp $100 bills with a note which said, Godspeed paid 10 to 1. And maybe that could only happen in Louisville, Kentucky, but I'm wishing you a better, a different kind of Godspeed tonight to this class. Your class motto says, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. You've just taken a big step, but let me assure you, you have many steps ahead. Some easy, some hard, some happy, and some sad. And now for just a few things for you to think about sometime tonight or tomorrow you walk up to mom and dad and say thanks you can't believe what they've been through in your behalf and you're a part of their heart just say thanks to them sometime as you go out of here tonight i would ask that you set your goals high pledge to use your knowledge wisely care about others as you go through life be a good citizen and support your school, your community, and your country. And you only have so much time, T-I-M-E, you only have so much time in your life. You can't make more of it. Make good use of it. And I want, to, I want to warn you this. Your parents and everybody in here can attest to this. There will be many good days and many tough days ahead. So prepare yourself to be able to handle both kinds in life. I'll guarantee you. And if we can ever be of any help here at East Central, as Mr. Wilson told you, if we can ever be of any help, give us a call. We care about you, and we care about your future. And I can sincerely say this, I'm very proud of you. We always remember certain highlights of our lives. Tonight's ceremony is one of those highlights of your life. 
It has become somewhat traditional for me to do one simple thing to help you and your parents remember tonight. I would ask that everyone in this room pause with us just a moment. I ask that you graduates and every person in here consider this moment of your life. And graduates, you can never live this moment again, but you can capture this memory just a little bit up here forever, you and your parents. And I ask at this time that everyone pause with me for just this moment to savor it, the sound, the silence, the visual, and the fragrance, fragrance of this moment for this class. Now, graduates, I will assure you that one of the most difficult things to do in life many times is to say goodbye. But the time has come, and it's time for us to go. So graduates of 1990, goodbye. We love you. Please stand for the benediction and remain standing for the recessional. Lord, thank you for the wonderful times the class has enjoyed and for helping us through the difficult ones. Bless our parents, families, teachers, and friends for their devoted time effort, love, and support they have given us throughout our lives. Bless us and help us to instill a lifetime of happiness and success as we embark on new endeavors. Help us to lead our generation into the future with long, peaceful, and productive lives. We pray you will light our paths and show us the way. Amen.